Good, you ready? Good. We are live. Uh, Dustin, do you have any music to play for us or nothing? Right. We got. No <clears> oh, you know what? Let's nope. let's. I mean, I don't have anything super special because we get uh, copyright issues every single time. Every we single oh, time. Yeah. Try and play ah, something. You too. Um, but uh, what is this? <laughs> you think you could just jingle whenever you want to? Right. No. no I don't that way. Whatever you do, YouTube, don't hit on this. Please, YouTube, don't. With you, we're, we support you guys. Come on. Um, this is it. The showdown three-way style. Three-way dance. Dustin from $2 Late Fee. Corey from Podcasting After Dark. Paul from Territory Marks and himself. And me representing. Actually, I'm the middleman for all three shows. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the show, guys. I'm the ref. I'm the special guest referee for today's. It, it concerned me that we couldn't down. hear you well enough oh. and, uh, over the music. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, so I, I did the worst awkward music edit <laughs> a stage manager could do. <laughs> Hard cut. Just cut it off. Hard cut. Right before Hard the cut. chorus. Keep um, them wanting more. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, it, music or no music, I don't need an intro. I guess I don't. Uh, Dustin is going to be representing $2 lay fee tonight. Paul will re be representing territory marks and Corey will be representing podcasting after dark. It's the crossover. You never thought you'd have, but you got to get it. Um, it's the three guys. They're going to be going toe to toe to toe three toes and in, in trivia contest centering around 1989's roadhouse, uh, there's going to be roadhouse questions. There's going to be movie questions. There's going to be music questions, video game questions, um, questions about rubber bands. Well, we'll get to that later. But first, uh, in an in inaugural way, because this is our first three-way dance, we're going to have a flip, not a flip off with the soundtrack to roadhouse, because normally we do a flip off side A and side B. We're going to do it a little bit differently tonight. The three of you are going to guess a number between one and ten. You have to decide where you think the song When the Night Comes Falling from the Sky by Jeff Healy falls within the one through ten tracks on the Roadhouse soundtrack. The person that gets the closest will go first, second closest will go second, and so on and so forth. Does that Fancy. make sense to you, gentlemen? Yep. It does. Numbers and yes. songs. Let's try it. <laughs> okay well i think i'll start in my view i see dustin at the top Corey in the middle and paul oh, yeah. at the bottom yeah same here uh so dustin what's what, new what, what number <laughs> what? first of all and everyone who's joining us right now thank you so much for joining us can you see uh, them where are they i can't but okay you know, dustin can uh and, and dustin if the number is don't below do 10 don't mention okay uh okay uh, <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, Dustin, uh, between the number one and ten, where do you think Jeff Healy's song "When the Night Comes Falling from the Sky" lands on the soundtrack? One through ten. Uh, uh, six. Okay, uh, Corey, how about you? What's your number? Number eight. And Paul, what is your number? Three. <laughs> the number is five. So, ah. Dustin, you are the closest. Followed by Corey, what? and then of course, Paul following up the. What was Justin's number? Six. <laughs> oh my god! It was like, it's but so you funny. have to go through three to get to five. Well, you know, technically, right? So technically, if it was prices rights rules, then then then, then one dollar. Uh, if Paul had said one, actually, yeah. If Paul had said number one, he'd be right. But that no, but make I didn't say closest to the number. I didn't say going over or under. And actually, technically, uh, Corey and Paul, you are tied. So I will tell. I will give you this. Because we're equal apart from. Okay, well, I'm tied with nobody. Uh, so Corey and Paul, how about this? <laughs> Jeff Healy. Uh, has how many songs on the soundtrack? Here are your choices. Does he have three songs on the soundtrack? Four songs on the soundtrack or five? Corey, what's your choice? What's five. your pick? Five. five, you say five. And Paul, what do you say? Four. He has one, two, three, and four songs. Uh, I was going to guess so, six. 
So what so are you, blind? Paul, Paul came back. <laughs> came back. He's going to go second. Um, we're going to get right into this, guys, and we're going to jump Jeff Healy's question. blind, guys. That's why it's funny, because he's, he's blind. <laughs> he was blind. Oh. Uh, did he do the – did he create the skates that these teens wear with the wheels on the heels? They aren't those called Healy's? No, he did not oh. create the Healy's. Oh. <laughs> what? He, he, said he could have. Oh, so, in order to not get anybody in trouble, I'm going to start asking questions from the trivia <laughs> before we get canceled. <laughs> uh, yes. So, okay. Um, the, the quick, con- quick shout out to Paulette, uh, who's watching, and her um, profile pic is amazing. Who is Doisha? That? What's up, Paulette? We love your photo. Uh, yeah, that looks like Corey. Does that look like Nick Nick Cassavetes from The Wraith a little bit? <laughs> I see a like, picture of a dog. What do you guys Same see? here. I oh, see a I, dog. Really? Because oh, do? I don't see a picture of a dog. I see a picture of a dude who looks yeah. like Jeff Spicoli. Wait, you guys yeah, all no, see it's something a, different? It's a dog. Yeah, it's a dog. Whoa. Okay, never mind. Oh, this is weird. It's a cute golden, maybe a retriever. What? I'm not sure, yeah. but it's. Yeah, lo- I love it. Love the dog. Yeah, great yeah, dog. It's amazing. It's we don't see that at all. I'll tell you that. Uh, we're going to have that. That's yeah. Cute. Okay, well, y'all, uh, Nick Cassavetes as a dog. I'm not lying. I'm not Team lying. Team Wolf Three. Uh, we are going to get started. We're going to get started. Is Teen Wolf Three? Paulette, uh, if you know who that person into a golden is, retriever. please chime in. I would really appreciate that to save me from this discussion. Um, so, really quickly, I want Team to dog. Sorry, remind it's... you guys of this game. I will ask Dustin, obviously, the first question, followed by Paul, followed by Corey. If Dustin gets the question wrong, we will go to the next person. Likely. Go for it. The first person to score five points straight up will win the game. Okay. Question five points. one for okay. Dustin. Jeff Healy's song, When the Night Comes Fallen from the Sky, is a cover. In fact, all five songs, sorry, all four, sorry, Corey, all four songs on the soundtrack are covers. Tell me one other cover, either the name of the song or the name of the artist that he covers from Roadhouse. Oh, on the you're saying on the soundtrack of Roadhouse, name another Jeff Heath cover? Correct. Um, right. Uh, Hoochie Coochie Man. Okay, that is correct. And do you happen to know the original artist of that song? Wow. Uh, the original artist. Um, the original, original artist. I don't know. Um, uh, man, I can picture I can picture who I want to picture. I can't think of a name. Um, I believe it's Muddy Waters. Oh, okay. Muddy Waters. Oh, that's not part. That's not part of the, the question. It's, it's not, but you get a okay. point. You get a point because you answered Hoochie Coochie I was Man. All tense. I would have I would have accepted <laughs> I would have accepted Roadhouse Blues. I'm tore down. Long tall and Sally. Of course. Yeah. Uh no, well, no, not on the physical soundtrack, Corey. Oh, that is a good okay. point. It's a good point to make. I would have accepted Long Tall Sally if he said that because it's on the it's in the movie, but it's obviously not on the physical soundtrack. And it's on the okay. Spotify like Roadhouse playlist or, you know, uh, I'm going soundtrack physical. slash. But yeah, you're going off the cassette going tape. Physical. Okay. Yep. okay. Uh, yeah, I was very confused because you you didn't sort of acknowledge that the question was over and then you kept going. And then who sang oh, it? So I was like, all right. And the pressure. But so. So you actually so lost you. all your points because you didn't. So I, right. Because yeah. I didn't know. You did because um, you 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 got confused by my confusion. Should I should I do a ding for that? No. Then? Yeah. Do a ding for yourself. You okay. Get a ding, all right. ding, ding. There's a, there's, hey, there's a ding. Right. All right. So well, if we don't have dinging capabilities. Oh, it's sorry. It's caught on the loop. Uh-oh. There we go. I ain't got no ding. I ain't got no ding on my end. I ain't got, I ain't no got ding. a ding. Uh, I ain't got all no you prospects. city folks coming over here with your dinglings and ding dongs. <laughs> I just try gonna... to run a roadhouse. <laughs> We're not talking about Mississippi road apples or anything like that. I'm um, gonna turn you into a pear. <laughs> well let's see if you can right. turn this question into a cherry and pop it because the question is what 
<laughs> no. Oops. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Nope. What? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. Don't ever say that again. Uh, I mean, isn't there a band called the Cherry Poppin' Daddies? Yeah, I was about to say that. That's what I meant. <laughs> I know what you meant. Um, I know what you. You got. I was going to say too. Real confusing. Oh, there is I a see... dog now. Okay, so Paulette. Yes. Quick, everyone, everyone listening, watching. Oh, whatever. Dango. Oh. Yeah, really that's what it cute was. Cute dog. But Paulette, did you know that you had some dude's face as your There was a dude picture? before. Who look like John, Nick Casavetti's. If anyone can see the Nick yeah. Casavetti's. Just turn to it. It just. No, you take see, for us, it's still, it's still Dango. No. It, from us, still for us, Dango. Okay. Very yeah. confusing. Okay. Dustin, will you take an interest? Just... Dango. Dango. Um, have you no. always... I don't know what's on the stream. Big rips Paul, Dango. Dango. your turn. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. In 1989, the MTV Music Awards aired. <gasps> A comedian was banned from MTV following a stand-up act on the show. Who was the comedian that was banned from MTV for life? No, it was not Lou Ferrigno. I have two people in my mind right now that I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, talk us through it. Talk us through it. Give us well, a picture. That's like giving it away, isn't it? I mean, I think one of them uh, has a very street tough kind of persona, and the other one's very manic, crazy. Hmm, those are I'm thinking really that one. Good ideas. I'm gonna go with Sam Kennison, but I have a feeling that's wrong. Justin, <laughs> give us a. <laughs> 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 Damn I it! I knew it. How you feel, Corey? Can you steal that? It's for it's uh, Adventures of Ford Fairlane himself, Andrew Dice Clay, baby. I, I knew uh, that is correct. God, those are the two people I was looking at. I was like, <laughs> I knew it was one of them. But then he I'm got sorry. the deal with like Johnny Bananas. I was like, I guess he's not banned. No, I'm so kidding. So he did a whole bit about um, he did the mo Mother Goose nursery rhymes, of course, and yeah. he got banned from MTV. And if you really think about it, if you've never seen that act, everybody. Go look it up. In today's standards, I think he probably would have been canceled as well. But <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe five or six years ago, uh, prior to a particular seven year, he would have been totally. It would have been totally fine. Good steal. <laughs> Whoever anyway. banned Sam Kennison? Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. What was okay, I thinking, so man? We Remember go back that episode to... of um. What, what didn't he play an angel on the episode oh, of yeah. uh, um uh, Married with Children? Right. Sam, Sam Kennison? Kennison did. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Sam yeah. Kennison. He was so you know for those that don't know, MTV had some really cutting edge comedians on at the time, and they actually had a great comedy show too. Uh, I think John Stewart had a show on MTV back in the day. Some really funny stuff, but. <laughs> Sadly, it was Andrew Dice Clay who took the L on that one. Um, and, Paul uh, well, I'm sorry. and Paul did too. <laughs> and so, Dustin, we go back to you. <laughs> um, in September of 89, Dustin, a show by Deke Entertainment. Do you remember Deke? Deke, right? Yeah. No, it premiered... no it's, a, it's a meme now. It is a meme now. Ah. Uh, in September of 89, a show by Deke Entertainment premiered starring Captain Lou Albano and Danny Wells. What is the official name of this show? The official um, name of this show. Saturday like it, has morning it has unofficial names? Well, no, you have to give me the full official name for full to get credit. Uh, Captain Lou and Danny? Captain Lou and Danny time. That is incorrect. Okay. Give me the. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, Dad. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> and fun fact that for anyone that doesn't know, that sound is a slowed down version of the theme song to Price is Right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yep. You just learned that uh, last week, so it's like real. I, I did. I learned it about a month it's ago. It's real fresh. <laughs> it's so fresh. So that Paul, was Bob Barker, wasn't it? It was. Rest yeah, in peace. Rest in peace, Barker. man. Yeah, pulling out really for you, peace. homie. I'm man, pulling it out. We had a big month of uh, major 
people in our lives passing away. Terry Funk, obviously, Jimmy Buffett, uh, That's Gary right. Wright. Uh, unfortunately, I think Gary Wright's death got a little overlooked by Jimmy Buffett's passing, but Gary Wright is equally not as prolific as, as Jimmy Buffett, obviously, but a huge influence, I think, on many artists, including Dream Third Base. A great song. Third Base sampled a Gary Wright song, Dreamweaver, on one of their songs. So, yeah, and anyways, we loved it, uh, Zach, in that movie, The Con, uh, the Convent, when uh, Dreamweaver we came on. So yes, good. Uh, podcasting after dark <laughs> The Convent. Um, Paul, question goes to you. It's in 1989. What's, what cartoon starring what uh, Captain Lou Albano and Danny Wells premiered? Give me the full name of this show. The Adventures of Super Mario Brothers that is and Louie's God. Damn motherfuckers! I don't, Corey? I don't know if I'm gonna get it right either. But yeah, I knew it was Super Mario Brothers. Is it Super Mar the Super Mario Brothers Power Hour? It is the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. So you are incorrect as well. Sorry <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, it is the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. That's I wasn't. Even I want to get stuff wrong on purpose just to hear that fucking <laughs> the the. the Deflated part. Trust me. Uh, Tonight's show is dedicated to pop. Like, that's a very layered. Fun if fact, I can, when, I, when I burp, I burp that theme. I. <laughs> uh, Dustin. I have diarrhea to that theme. <laughs> right now. Uh, it's happening as we speak. Mm -hmm. All right. Dustin, really back gross. to you with a music question. A music question from 1989. We're going back to the Madonna. MTV Music Awards. Okay. Okay. Which band in 1989 took home an award for the best new artist in a video? Was it Living Color, Paula Abdul, Nana Cherry, or Edie Brickell and the new Bohemians? Oh, this is a good question. I Thank also... You. You didn't say you said Paula Abdul. You didn't say Paula Abdul, which I said I, Paula Abdul. Yes. Yeah, which threw me. Like you put emphasis on her <laughs> like last total name. Recall. I total story, recall. Like, <laughs> to, yeah, total recall. Paula starring Paula Abdul. Um, <laughs> and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Best. Uh, so sorry. It's <laughs> best new artist. I'm sorry. Yeah, best new artist in a video. Living Color. Paula Abdul. Nana Cherry. Or Edie Brickell and the New Bohemians. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you, you know, he I, me. <laughs> I mean, Buffalo Stance is like my jam. I'm gonna guess Nana Cherry. You are incorrect. It's a great okay. song, Dustin. It's a great, great okay. song. I agree. I agree. I it. <laughs> there it is. Paul, would you like to steal? Uh, your choice is obviously Nana Cherry's Out, Living Color, Paula Abdul, or Edie Brickell and the New Bohemians. Paula. Abdul. I'm gonna go with yeah. I'm gonna go with Pala Abdul. You would be a cold hearted <laughs> to be incorrect. Oh, oh stupid me. bitch! I can't stand Todd. Yeah, ruins everything. I, we go to Hater. Corey. I'm casting after dark. Corey. Corey, if you get this wrong, you've got two children. It's, live, it's living color, baby. You are they correct. Rock out. Oh, oh, you I marks. I love living color. I was a you huge marks. Fan as a kid. I'll Get out of living town. Color. I even had a body glove bodysuit because of it, or a wetsuit, <laughs> whatever the fuck you know, they're called, because of Living Color. They are awesome. They're uh, still awesome. I body had dreadlocks. Gloves. Body yeah, suit. Yeah, just, this, is, this is because of Living Color right here. You had a, you had a body glove uh, wetsuit? Yeah, and we, I used it when That's I went awesome. boogie boarding, which is That's stupid. amazing, Paul. You have to <laughs> agree. That is pretty amazing. That he That's awesome. That. I hope you still have it. And Ali, our boy Lee, hey, is Lee. third base. What a good, Lee. what a good reference. Shout out to Lee. Um, well, a shout out to your episode where Zach reveals that third base is his favorite hip hop group of all time. This is true. This is very true. Pop, pop goes the weasel, weasel. No. Pop, pop. That is not your best song. It's I the was gas so with you. Yeah, like no, that's their best song. I don't even know third base. Get out of here. Paul, the, the shock and awe that you had learning that about Zach, I was the same way where I was like, this must be, I must be listening to the wrong episode or something. Seriously, and, this is the wrong the Zach. Search. The outtakes, the wrong Look Zach. Look him up. M MC Search is a legend in the hip hop community. He's considered by many people. He's produced the, a lot of stuff. He but has. He, I believe he produced the Zebrahead soundtrack directed by Oliver Stone or was produced by Oliver Stone. 
uh, starring Michael Rappaport. Well, there we go. I, <laughs> okay, so Corey I, gets a point. Corey gets a point. Weasel, Corey has weasel. a lead. It is Pop -pop goes Corey, the weasel. Dustin one, Paul zero, and Corey two. Yeah, because the weasel goes pop. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, I, I was so. an, I was an Onyx kid growing up. I listened to a lot of Onyx. Yeah, oh, thank you. No, 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 no. Boys, but boys. There we go. Yeah, the, good basketball music. Yeah. We are ah, oh, look at these cheaters. We're <laughs> sick of it. Cheaters. I can How did Corey get two guy. points? I'm stealing it's his birthday. <laughs> He's stealing. It. Yeah, it's his birthday. Okay, it so is his birthday. Back to Dustin. The band Jive Buddy and the Master Mixers in 1989 oh. had a number one hit song in the UK. Name the song, please. Jive Buddy and the Mix Master Mixers. They had a hit song. Uh, in 1989. 1989. They had a hit song. Where they, they mash up old like 1920 songs with kind of like a hip hop vibe to them. Hmm. Can I just point out that I'm the only one here that isn't in front of an additional uh, device, whether it be computer or whatever. Like, I'm right here talking with you people right here, okay? I don't have time to be looking up no facts. No, we're not cheating. I'm just running Sweetening the, the pot. No, <laughs> I know what you three are doing with your technology hey, and your I'm flying the cars. Master. I'm the game master. Right I'm the yeah, games master. If we I bet if this. I was up there and I peeled off your face, it would be a synthetic. <laughs> or you'd be like a uh, Mojo from uh, Arcade Planet and uh, yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's like a weird, a weird evangelist. I, I do not know who it is. I okay. have no Zixel, I have no Zixel Plix. All, all do you I have, have no guess. any idea? Any On idea? a UK movie with people I don't know and have never heard. Wait, what? Five? Jive There's, Buddy and the Master Mixers. Corey's the hell would make anyway. one think that I I've never heard of Jive Buddy. Yeah. I feel yeah. bad even saying that. I've like, never heard of him either. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, are we going? I, I didn't give an answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's already out. All of us. Boom, 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 yeah. Boom, boom. Right it's probably right. It's probably Corey. right. Huh? Corey. Uh, no, I, I've never heard of The song is called "Swing the Mood." Swing the Mood. That's my second guess, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That, we could play that, but then it's also going to... I know we'd probably get flagged. So we, yeah, I, look I it up. Go to, go to Google and look it up. Google, um, Google it, guys. <laughs> I, yeah, I've never heard of this. Zach, is this something, did you just learn about this tonight? And it was like, I'm going to put in this trivia? No, no. I Can we make a new rule here where the games master, whoever it is from now on, has to have their face covered? Oh, like uh, Shockmaster? <laughs> well something i just i don't want the identity revealed even if the name's going to be posted on the posts and stuff i get it but i don't want to see their i mean we need to just see cold eyes <laughs> is this dead, gonna okay is this eyes. gonna be Except like the games the midnight was... rider paul the midnight rider when it was dusty I'll be, <laughs> yeah it's gonna be an emotionless psychopath who's asking <laughs> such difficult questions I mean, this is nonsense but I'm still in the fight. I'm well, doing it for still, America. You're still in the fight because it's only Corey 2, Dustin 1, and you zip. So. Uh, yeah, I'm I mean, going to get if, these whippersnappers. If all three of us don't even have any clue who the person right. is you're talking about, I think there's something, you know, to be said about that. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Go look it up. You are gonna, you guys are going to listen to the song after we're done. You're going to go, I remember that song. <laughs> I would have never had that. reason to look it up if it wasn't for you games, master. You call you. yourself Zach. I know you ain't Zach. You Cobra Commander. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Question, yeah. hoodie, hoodie, or or face mask, Cobra face Commander. mask all the way, face mask. All mm. the way. Yeah, I'm. I am personally a face mask. In this situation, I like the hoodie. The hoodie would be acceptable here as a games. Yeah, all, yeah. I pr if because you win, see the eyes, you yeah. see the yeah, eyes. You gotta, you gotta see. Yeah, you gotta see. So it's eyes. like, is he lying? Like, who is this guy? Can I trust him? Like, yeah. we haven't had a reason to trust him yet. Yeah. Okay. So. You, Paul, you heard it here first. I will make you a promise. If you win this contest tonight, there's the prize. I will win the mask of your choosing at the next trivia. Whether I'm in it as a participant or a, uh, I will make a mask. And Dustin, you know very well. You'll make it. I'll make Wait, I thought it. You said mask of my choosing. Yes, mask of your choosing. <laughs> well, 
Okay, so we could have a zipper <laughs> mouth. Shit just got real for Paul. He's like, okay, all right. Yeah, you can it. choose. I'll I'll wear it. You heard it here first. These folks. are real consequences. I'm in now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is what we're playing for tonight. Oh I no. Got something okay, to fight Dustin. For. Dustin, question to you. Question to you. It's a Roadhouse related question. Sam Elliott, who plays Wade Garrett in Roadhouse, your favorite character, right? Yeah. The year yeah. prior, the year prior to Roadhouse. He oh played Richie Marks, a cop, Richie Marks, in what action movie that featured a RoboCop alum, Peter Weller, who coincidentally, his character's name was Dalton. But tell me the name of the movie that starred Sam Elliott and Peter Weller. Oh, boy. Uh, I think his name was Roland Dalton or something like that. But anyway. <laughs> his name was Roland Dalton. Uh, I... Wow, I don't, I don't, I can't even fathom. But I have another. Uh, was it called uh, uh, Night Cops? It was not called Night Cops. That's incorrect. Okay. Paul, question goes to you. Body heat. A little bit. Of... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corey, I was just about to tell Paul that fun fact. It is also the name of a Bob Seger song. Yeah, no, I, I can see the cover for it. Is it Shakedown? Correct. Shakedown. Ah, oh, this is some bullshit. And I'm um, the stoner here, guys. I'm right. the stoner. Uh, <laughs> no, and the, on, son. but but again, it feels like this this thing is like when I wait long enough or whatever, then Zach just starts giving Paul hints. And I don't love I, that part of I, this. No, I agree. Trivia. I feel like he Dustin knew. is like at a disadvantage. Like, yeah. So why don't you why like don't if you had said Bob Seeger song, I would have at least guessed a Bob Seeger song and not said Night Boys. That's I'm the one who has a, a donut for a score. OK, I believe, Dustin, I, I, believe hear, Boys, no. I believe Night Boys I, is a song. Night boys, ooh yeah. Night boys, night boys, um, looking yeah. in your window. Night but, boys, uh, obviously, great work to <laughs> Corey. To Corey, you, Corey, you yeah. knew that song. Or you knew, With you knew a that night boys, I you do gymnastics in your bedroom. Night boys, we're looking through your plans at night. Night boys, ooh, looking through like your plans. <laughs> Well, yeah, because they're like looking through. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get it. I, I, I'm okay. picking up what Paul's uh, putting down. I'm getting it. We should. We'll, we'll release a live recording of this uh, after. I, Paul, yeah. I think you just came up. Paul, I think you just came up with your theme song boys. for to the ring now. Yeah. Night Boys. Night Boys. I gotta, yeah. yeah, I got to work out the wording a little bit. Make sure. Well, yeah. There's See, something we'll, there. We'll, there's we'll something figure there. it out. We'll, we'll, we'll workshop it, it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we'll workshop it. Um, Why is this song Dustin. called Night Wait, Boys? Wait, Corey, did you know that? Did you know that without the Bob Seger hint? Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew right okay, when he yeah. said it. I could yeah. picture the cover Excellent. on my head. Excellent. I didn't. Right. The, the Bob knew. Seger hint didn't help me at all. I already yeah, knew that. You knew. Yeah. You knew. Okay. Uh, Dustin, better, question Better make sure. In September of 89, Capcom released a video game based on a popular Disney animated television series. What was the name of this popular Disney animated series NES game? Oh, I know this one. I mean, <laughs> nothing, yeah, nothing makes me feel more confused about nostalgia and history. Paul, how much booze is in that, by the way? Because we are you're turning into an evangelist. This by the ain't end of this. booze, man. <laughs> it's a ghost. This you is guys are both thinking ghost? That's right. Why do you both have it? What's what's because I'm what's his dealer, man. Oh, yeah, what is Paul that? Gave this to me the right. That's right. Paul gave it to you. You have to drink yeah. this. Our friendship contingent is contingent on whether you drink this or not. If you don't drink it, we're done. I, I, when I have can a I brand drink new... one when I come and visit in December? Can I have yes, one with you, you guys? Yes, you sure can. yes. We'll get you, you the other flavors. You guys are both drinking an energy drink called Ghost? Yes. Yes. That's right. I've never we're heard of this. Are you, is it we're a sponsor? Are you... Patrick's, we're promoting a Patrick Swayze movie. You know, I think Ghost <laughs> needs to be... We, I think we, Ghost needs to be a sponsor of our show. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say yes. What year, what year was Ghost? 88? No, not of our show. Is, is, is a sponsor of Paul's 89, career, it? wrestling 90. career. Oh, no, no. Paul I would is, if I is, could. I would totally get sponsored by these guys. I would sell out so fast. Yeah, I would too. Th that you're just walking around with Ghost and like giving it to people. It just seems like that would be in line yeah. with uh, having a sponsorship. Right. Yeah. But, but like, you, you know okay. what? We need like a Repo Man flavor. And they'll be like, what the hell does that mean? And I'll say, we just, we need it to just be like Ghost. And we just need to just say like energy. 
and like just needs to be like white and black. Yeah. White oh, and black and oh. says drink on it or something. Yeah, it like just that. says yeah, yeah, it just says yeah, just just yeah, just yeah, Ener- oh, energy, drink. Just energy, yeah. just energy. But then it, but it also glows in the dark though. It has to glow in the yeah. dark too. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, is, that movie. Uh, is that the bubblicious flavor of strawberry? It is. <laughs> Call tea makers of okay. ghost. It's not bad. Uh, okay. okay, I, I think... love Dustin's ticker at the bottom. It's great. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. We're gonna oh, go to nice! T- yes. 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 Food. Dustin, it's so good. The ticker. <laughs> yep. I feel like I'm Justin, on Cox um, News. Okay, don't, so don't uh, the question. Uh, right, there's a Capcom video game. Uh, the wonderful uh, uh, Disney, um, the Magic uh, it, uh, Disneyland Adventures, something like that. That is incorrect. <laughs> Paul, you got this, buddy. You got this. Paul, go ahead. Take us home. What what is the name of the popular game? And tell Tailspin. Say, say it again. Tailspin. That is incorrect. <clears throat> Motherfucker. Oh, oh, man. My, is this going to be oh. is this going to be is this DuckTales? Uh, is this fucking DuckTales? Yeah. Oh my yes. god. Yes it is. Yes, Are it you is. shit? Oh and, my and okay. DuckTales. I played Paul. that game like crazy. I know Paul, you got I'm Justin. You. I, I actually, gave that to you specifically. I actually yeah. liked Tailspin better than DuckTales. Like, I, as no. a show, I like Tailspin oh. better. And I like Darkwing Duck better than DuckTales. But I, DuckTales, I, I mean, yeah, I do that I right with yeah. No, I you said it's the way you phrased uh, it. I was thinking of, like, Disney, I don't know, Mickey uh, or whatever. And then, but of course, I played that game. Yeah. Beat it. You got had all the shortcuts. Like, I was so uh, good at it. Oh, so, so good. good. At it. If, uh, if, if, if you guys have never played DuckTales, uh, you can play it. There's an emulator out there or an inten- on the Nintendo one that comes with 50 games. I believe it's on that. You can Nintendo. even play it on an NES. Yeah, you can. So go play DuckTale in the the best 8-bit theme song. Yeah, next no, to it's Goonies. great. And that's next and that's a real... <laughs> That's so a good game. But wait, real quick, I do want to say Tailspin was the like one of the first times where I saw it was like a cartoon where they and I knew Jungle Book, but then they took the characters and they put them in a different environment. So and I was like, right. as a kid, I was like, oh was my cool. god, that's amazing. Yeah, I DuckTales had a cool vibe to it. It, it, it did. I liked it. Yeah, I did. I liked it. Awesome. Yeah. I even yeah. liked uh, Scrooge McDuck swimming down his yeah. like all his coins and stuff. That's too. Right. <clears throat> whatever that okay. whatever that was. So us, ah, back to Dustin. Uh, Dustin here we are. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Wow, Corey could wrap oh this up in the next God. Time. Corey can I'm, end this, send us to Corey, bed. Corey could, Corey could let go of my hand right <laughs> now as if I was Macaulay Culkin in The Good Son. Corey gets to choose the mask of his choice for good next reference. month's good trivia. Um, <laughs> do you hold on to Elijah Wood or do you let go of me? Let's see what you do yep. now. Go. Wow. I got a good feeling about this one, though. The moment I, I realized it was DuckTales. Ugh. I got a bad feeling about this drop. You always say okay, that, Frost. Dustin, you say I, got I got a feeling about this drop. I got a good feeling about this one. <clears throat> Dustin, <laughs> Fletch Lives came out on VHS in 1989. Uh, we just talked about home video releases in 1989 on Tales from the Video Store. So if you're not a patron, Please consider becoming a patron to $2 late fee and or podcasting after dark because we got a lot of fun on those shows. But we just talked about movies that came on on video in 1989. Fletch Lives came out in September of 1989. True or false, Dustin? True or false? It's a 50-50 question. The Underhills from the first Fletch movie. Are you familiar with The Underhills, Dustin? Okay. Put the it on Underhills the Underhills tab. From the first Fletch movie, have a cameo. Mrs. Stanwick. In... <laughs> Mrs. Stanwick. True or yeah. false, they have a cameo in the sequel, Fletch Lives. Uh, true. That is correct. True. Yes. Do you, rem- do you right. remember the scene that, that they are in? I mean, sorry. Oh, I'm so, used to, You're so, I'm so used, used to playing the, the wrong one. God. <laughs> so used to it. <laughs> Do you remember the uh, the scene that they were in? Um, this isn't a part of the question. Just asking. Uh, well, no, I think it's early because I, I think yeah. right isn't it, it's before he inher- it's at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, yeah, he's singing um, uh, zippity doodah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when he's in his uh, in his flashback or yeah. his uh, his imaginary, thing, right? yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Nice. Okay. okay. I think I've only ever right. seen Fletch Lives once, but Fletch, the first yeah. one, is one of my I mean, favorite comedies of all time. You Dr. can't Rose live up. Penis. You can't be. You can't beat. The, that's one of the, a true classic, I think. And Fletch Lives is okay. It's okay. Did anyone? Yeah. Did anyone watch the John Hamm one? Fletch confessed. I was just wondering that same thing. No, I didn't see. I was no, going to. No, I've heard on. good things. Or not I, I heard it's not bad. I've heard it's not. Yeah. I heard because he's he's you know he's just playing Fletch from the book. He's not trying to do Chevy Chase essentially. So I I'll watch it one day. I guess it's a movie. But, yeah, it's, it's a, movie. a movie. Um, Paul. <laughs> Sponsored by Ghost Energy Drink. Uh, and by I the way, be sponsored brand new, by Total Pillow. Brand, <laughs> brand that's new, my score right now. Brand new uh, two dollar late fee koozies. By the way, Ooh, if you want to get yeah, a two dollar late fee koozie, uh, DM us on Instagram for more details. Oh wow! Uh, I'll yeah, DM you right new, now. Yeah, if you want a koozie, let us know. Uh, okay, Paul, I brought up MTV Music Awards a couple times tonight. Oh my god. Is what is story? what is the statue that is the MTV oh. Music Award? What is the statue? Oh. It is a golden astronaut. I'm going to accept that because it's The technically... fuck else is what the golden <laughs> spaceman with a mic? It's not it's not It's a gold. cosmonaut, Paul. It's, it's a cosmonaut. Gold. It's actually silver, but uh, or chrome what? or whatever. It's chrome, but I'm gonna accept <laughs> after. Really? <laughs> oh it's got a flag. Oh my god! I, mean, I was gonna hey. say the golden popcorn kernel metal yeah. thing. And right, that would definitely be wrong. Yeah, right. who's that? Very... Which one is that? Is that Nickelodeon? That's the award. Award. Yeah, but you're on yeah. the board. You're on the board. Oh, you're the on the board. Look at it. All so the MTV in. movie. Right. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What is the astronaut? The, That's music the music award. award. You got yeah. it. Music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it right. Okay. Exactly. Cool. You got I was it. with Paul. I thought it was. I thought it was a golden astronaut so did, too. But, but so it was. It's I. the color that's different, right? It's, it's what, chrome. See? Yeah, it's okay. chrome. Got it. It's chrome. Yeah. I mean, we all so very confused. I think. I think you're having a Mandela effect. I think we're all right. I think it's gold. Yes. You're well, in a different you, timeline. You know, that's Buzz interesting Aldrin you effect. bring that up, Corey. That's interesting <laughs> you bring up Mandela effect because, in fact, my next question for you is a Mandela effect question. Oh, the Bears. No. Bears. So, what color is the statue of the MTV? <laughs> in your if, timeline, if uh, <laughs> if the Mandela, if if no one's for, if you're not familiar with the Mandela effect, it is remembering something in a particular way when it is in fact incorrect. That is the Wikipedia definition of the Mandela effect. Okay, and it gets its uh, it gets its name from it because the most famous version of that is people think they remember Mandela, uh, Nelson Mandela dying in prison. And then in, rac in our timeline, he was released from prison, but a lot of people remember him dying from prison. But another famous uh, Mandela effect is the Berenstein Bears versus the Berenstain Bears. Berenstain and everybody Bears. remembers it one way, but it was really the other. Correct. So, so this is going to be a movie-related Mandela effect, movie quotes. Um, so for example, in Star Wars, this is not a question, but in Star Wars, people often think that Darth Vader in Empire Strikes Back says, Luke, I am your father, when in he fact says, no, he says, no, I what? am your father. Correct. No, I am your father. Um, so your question, and this is not 89 cents. Congratulations, Corey. <laughs> you take us home. <laughs> da, 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 da. No. I, wish, I need the rest of the song. Is there, is there an outro song? Do you have it warmed up? I, Get it warmed I, up. You can just put it on the record player right now. Just, yeah. Okay. Cue it up, DJ. These are not 89-centric <laughs> lines, but the question is this, okay? So, Corey, okay. in the movie Field of Dreams, the misquote <laughs> is... Great, I've seen it once. Great. The, okay. misquote, the misquote is, if you build it, they will come. What is the actual line in Field of Dreams? If you build it, he will come. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, yeah, no. really? <laughs> yeah, you just won the game. <laughs> Yay! God. Are you kidding? <laughs> Yay, Sorry, Corey. Are you kidding? Yay. That's the song. Here you go. Here's what we got. It's, it's some build up. Have you Thunder Rally? Wait. You gotta go see Thunder Rally oh. starring Bill Show. Let's see. If you this build it, awesome. he will come. <laughs> Weird. Okay. All right, let's see. This is a long build up. This is the live version, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is it. Uh, and 
Spurs, to answer your question, I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger is the best action movie of those two. Action star. I, I can't hear you at all. Doesn't matter. Schwarzenegger. Oh. Schwarzenegger <laughs> over Stallone any day. For yeah, biggest, I'll best I'll action star? Yes. What about Errol Flynn, man? No, between the two guys, dude. Oh, okay. Here's <laughs> yeah, here's your here's your question. Right here's your question. Here you go. There, America's there it is for you guys. Ah, can read it. Star. So Zach is just when... answering this randomly uh, at the end. Arnold, I'm proud of you, I'm Zach, because because you didn't disrupt you in the middle. Ah. Normally, you would have you would have started answering the question and then just. No, because I, yes. I I I'm a, I'm the I'm the I'm the special ref. I'm Tommy Young. Yes. Uh, and so for those that are wondering, yes, Paul, Corey, mm. and I will are joined together to talk about the life of Terry Funk in about two weeks on Territory Marks. Uh, Terry Funk from 1989. We have a very special episode devoted to the man who is in Roadhouse. And for everyone who is up to date on our crossover month, Marshall Teague, a.k.a. Jimmy Reno, is going to be this upcoming this this week's guest. Uh, on um, on our on our shows, our respective shows. Yeah, and for you Patreon members, he will f you in prison. <laughs> um, exactly. We do and talk Corey about that. wins the. He gets to choose the mask of his choice. I guess. Well, Corey, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's. I mean, yeah. at this point, if it's gonna be a Matt Cobra Commander, dude, you gotta just do it, man. Do the hooded Cobra Commander, and you oh. better wear it for the next uh, next trivia. I will wear it for the next trivia, oh, and, and so and and Justin, really quickly, Paul uh, said, "When do I get to run the show?" And so, Paul, I believe yeah. because you lost this completely by points, you get to yeah. come up with the questions, and it will be Dustin versus me, I believe, for the next trivia. And Corey, maybe you can make a guest appearance if you're cool with that. Yeah, of course. Guys, I mean, Springwood, invite him to Elm Street. Bring yeah, him along. Baby. Come on. Kind of yeah. like the winner needs to defend his title. And this wasn't just a win. Sure. This was a trouncing. This was a. Yeah, Corey, you, you dominated. This was a, right. I don't right. understand why, I, but and, I'm going to go smoke a bowl after we're done with this. There it is. Seriously. <laughs> if you, uh, yeah. If you guys I have too many are, brain cells, I need to kill some. Please. If you guys want to know, if you guys want to know mine. what next month's uh, trivia will be kind of focused around or what year. Uh, go sign up to our Patreon, patreon.com slash $2 late fee. And you can actually go to the Podcasting After Dark Patreon too because you'll find out on our Tales from the Video Store episode what the next uh, movie we're going to be covering. So, Paul, you'll have to do uh, trivia from that year that that movie came out. Don't name the year. or Don't name the movie, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, trivia from that year. Have you, that... Told them, have, you told them, have you told me the movie yet? Okay, we then. did during Tales, but you know, we'll we'll come back okay. to that later. Yes. Uh okay, so uh Paulette, we'll we'll get you back if you're if you're curious about the cool koozies we got on our show. Uh the they're <coughs> custom made, custom made from head to toe, baby. Yeah, uh, but everybody which account is not found. I guess that's probably the, the most... I don't know. Paulette, <laughs> try again. Yeah. Yeah, let, which one? Which Ooh. one doesn't work? Ooh, are you gonna have a territory marks uh, koozie? I want, I want one of those. Can I get? We do. Those? In fact, Paul, yeah. do you have said territory mark koozie nearby? I do indeed. It do. is. <laughs> and while Paul goes to get his territory <laughs> mark uh, <laughs> koozie. Yeah, we have territory mark koozies, uh, podcasting after dark koozies. We can uh, we Asking can do them all. Corey's holding see. the podcasting after dark koozie, and Let me um, see. yeah, there's the, there's the territory there. late sexy fee on two dollar late fee. And you turn it around. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's awesome. You done come into the That's territory, the son. Oh yes. man, beat it. Yeah, and I, I do want to. I do want to plug territory marks. I had a great time on that show with you guys. Um, I, you know, I have I'm not as inundated with wrestling as you all are, but I, I had a fun time. I think I held my own, but more importantly, I think you guys, you know, you made it fun and you, you made me feel welcome and it was a great time. I loved it. Well, everybody's welcome in the territories, right, Paul? Territories are always looking for new blood. <laughs> always looking for new people to put the asses in the seats and put Dustin, big bulges in the pants inundated is well I got one of the two <laughs> uh, it's a good go Dustin, ahead Dustin I think you 
you, I think you're about to have your uh, 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 hmm. bar mitzvah. I, <laughs> you're you're due you're due to come on the territory marks, Dustin, to 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 get a little couldn't, knowledge. Couldn't even get it out. You're like about to have your your. Well, I was about torture, to say your... something involving a cherry, but uh, you know. Do you have a favorite uh, crossover wrestler uh, mega like well, just movie star? It can be. It doesn't even have to be a big action star, Dustin. Oh, like, who, who would be your favorite of like the wrestler actors? I yeah, mean, I've seen them. them. I've seen the Marines like 755 times for some reason. The I Marines. Don't know why. The Which Marine. version is oh with Cena? With Cena. With Cena. Oh, interesting. Wow. Well, yeah. He's he's awesome in Peacemaker. He's yeah. Oh, so. he's awesome Peacemaker in Peacemaker. Great. Peacemaker. But yeah. can we can we safely say though that I know people might not consider Roddy Piper to be the best actor. But can we safely say that they live is the best movie to have an wrestler in it yeah no roadhouse uh guys you well, no 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 i'm sorry as the lead as the lead as the lead as, as the lead, lead. Yeah. yes no right. actually no i I'm, I'm gonna back dustin up on that one <laughs> and actually ask you guys which one do you prefer roadhouse or they live and one or the two oh, oh. Corey, that's a tough question to ask it is, that's a good yeah. question the tough questions. I'm the Baba Wawas of this interview. Uh, well, I'll go. They live. Paul, yeah, Paul. I think Corey's oh, okay. going. Yeah. He's going heel on us. He's going. He's <laughs> turned heel, just like they <laughs> do when they come to the territory, try to find their <laughs> footing in the the new town. I mean, my my childhood goes with they live, but there's so much to love about Roadhouse. Your adulthood <laughs> goes with Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> your man the upstairs okay. to the your upstairs manhood. loft barn <laughs> with all the mosquitoes on your genitals right. nothing like nothing like bedding a woman down in some nice prickly straw <laughs> yeah dude can we okay paul you did not join us for the breakdown but can you agree that the thing that's sorely lacking in that loft was screens on, yeah on yeah screens yeah definitely could have yeah because windows, that, yeah, windows. doors, maybe <laughs> anything. Yeah, is it just Not, open? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Like upstairs, yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. it's just. Yeah. And then we, I mean, we we discussed this on the latest episode of Roadhouse, the breakdown on Podcasting After Dark. So for those of you that are interested, go check out Podcasting After Dark's Roadhouse breakdown. It's all um, hard Rod. to be confined. You can't confine Dalton. Yeah, no. he's he just he's yeah. Okay, so yep. so you're saying they live. I'm going. I'm going with they live. Dustin, how about you? They live or Roadhouse? Um, I'm going Roadhouse. And Corey, um, I'll probably have to go with they live, but I do love Roadhouse. But I'll have to go with they live. <laughs> and that's yeah. Okay, and yep. then Paul said, and that's Andre our show, for, ladies and gentlemen." <laughs> and I think, yeah, Andre, Andre was yeah. fantastic in Princess Bride. The, dare I say, dare dare the highlight? Oh, of yeah, Princess no, Bride. Yeah. good call, actually, Lee. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. God, he was so good in that. He was so. Yeah. And you would have liked to see him in more yeah. stuff. You know, it would have been great to see him in more things besides Six Million Dollar Man. Oh, because he he played well, the Sasquatch, right? I mean, he? he did. Yeah. Santa oh, with muscles is pretty good, guys. <laughs> Hey, I saw. Okay, yeah. I wish we uh, we could do a segment for does Zach own this because I went to the <laughs> opening yeah. day oh, no. for oh, no, no holds barred and I, oh, no. I got something very special. I brought it up, I believe, on a podcasting after. Uh, uh, I still have that thing because I marked out big time for no holds barred. Um, you know, it's got some got, what, what, what tiny is lister. Is it a tiny lister? It was a figure, picture, sure? right? It's not. I, I well, would go get it, but it's in Bodie's room and Bodie's asleep right now. So wake him up. This is worth it. Yeah. Burst, in, burst in really alarmed too. Like, where is it? <laughs> and then I, and shake Bodie awake. Where help me find it? I'm yeah. gonna put him in a headlock. <laughs> yeah, and then shave Z's in his head, like a Z. For We're Zeus. not gonna talk yes. about if I had Z's shaved in my head, and the answer is yes. Back in oh yeah. for Zubaz. No, no for <laughs> Zach. I know. Oh, <laughs> can we <laughs> Remember when, remember when we discovered that Zach spelled his he like spelled his own name or picked his own name yep. in in elementary school? That, Paul doesn't that know that. Story. 
That was a great well, time. Still was dig, good time. I love, <laughs> I love that your one. name doesn't have a C in it. Uh, yeah, and there's a whole story. Yeah. That's by whole, choice. Whole he didn't story. know that this. He didn't know you could have that option. He didn't know that. No, I did <laughs> too. I did he too. He thought and there was a Z A C H. Go back and change it. You know? He thought it was Z A C H. Oh, that was it. did was I not like, know that Z A C K was an option? No, you didn't. I didn't. No, I did not know that. No, no. Well, that's, I would have that's Max better. Mandela. Uh, some people spell it Z A C, and he spells it Z A K, and that's his Mandela. Yep. Yeah. But who spells it Z A K K? No. Someone Zach that's wild. halfway racist. Zach no, Wild does. Nobody. Does. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that is wild with a Y. No. Zach Wild with a Y. No. Yeah. Wildy. No. Is no. that a right wrestler? No, he's a guitarist for. Oh. Uh, he was a guitarist for Ozzy for a while, wasn't he? Zach no. Wild. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to hear that whole story about my spelling of my name, go listen to the two dollar late fee episode. Yep. Roadhouse <laughs> and how Zach stayed yep. back a year and then quit forward a year and went back yep. a year again. It was wild. Zach skipped a grade, then he then they were like, Whoops, mistake. Then they sent <laughs> him back. Here we go. <laughs> is it titled? Oopsies. Is it is the is the ep, is the episode titled Zach renames himself? Or is it like you just said, go check out that episode? Like, how is somebody it's, gonna find this? No, it's, it's, it's the late last 20 movie. minutes of, of our first Roadhouse breakdown. Roadhouse. I, I, yeah. I, 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 oh, okay, just last clarify for all you Morgans out there. Yep, we're too oh. hot headed. I just want to say, right really, really quick, Good job for the trade. Really, you know, while, while we're here, while I have you guys, I just want to uh, really quickly list off one more question, one or two more questions from the trivia, because I was really proud of them and we never got to them. Um, Wait, you should well, save them. I'm sorry. Save them. Somebody knew all the goddamn save. questions. <laughs> should I save them? Should I save them? You should, yeah. Save no, yeah. Uh, Zach, as someone, yeah. Uh, yeah, with trivia stuff, you should yeah. just save it, man. Save, save them when you have the man. hood over your hip yeah. face. You can yeah. save really it. So you can, would you rather ask these questions now, just throw them away? Or would you rather ask these questions with your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. That's right. Yeah, because it won't ball. be Listen as fun ball. if you just like tell it to us. And then we're, oh, that was a good question. I, I wish you, I could have guessed you, it. Yeah, yeah. I wish yeah, you would no, you're right. you're ask right. me that when you're dressed like Cobra Commander. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. But, you're but right. great work, Zach. Great work. Great refereeing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks. You ran a great, fair game. Yeah. Uh, oh. Other than the, when you... With the Paul, uh, uh, when you gave Paul the answer to Bob Seger, but then he didn't know it, so it was fine. I I, so I spouted out the wrong end. I sabotaged yeah. myself before he even gave me a hint. Did you say against the wind? No. You know what you really said? Know. I've actually Boy never moves. seen Shakedown. Oh, you've never yeah. seen Shakedown? You should nah. watch it. Nah. So I watch it uh, every goddamn night. It's uh, I actually I highly <laughs> recommend you check out Shakedown. I highly recommend you check out other movies starring Sam Elliott during that time besides Mask, because people are always night like, boys, "Oh, baby, Mask. Night Boys, Night, night boys. boys, Night Boys." That song, I'm I'm pulling Looking that song. Looking in your window, Night Boys. <laughs> we see you doing your gymnastics, Night Boys. Night oh, boys. it looks like you're a cheerleader. I night. was confused because I'm a Night Boy. Looking in your blinds at night, boy. It Ooh, what's going to happen, night, boy? Oh, that's your boyfriend. I better run. Night, boy. Don't know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the police like are good. coming. Night, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. Um, look, okay, look so trick or treat. You, you get to take home a spaceman, a, 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 a bronze a, spaceman, like a gold apparently. One. A gold Chocolate space room. spaceman. Chocolate <laughs> yep. spaceman. Even though we all remember gold. Yeah, yep. yeah, good. Yeah, you're yeah, having your silver. own effect. <laughs> Get out of here. I've seen Ellis Island with my own eyes. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yep, Thank it. you for joining us. Uh, we've hit that time, that golden hour. Go check us out on social media. Go subscribe, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's a silver please. hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's subscribe. Oh, oh, you just got hour. F to the A. Silver hour. Excellent. Nine. 30 9 slash 30 september 30th is our live show on youtube it's a fundraiser for momentum wheels for humanity we've got live guests music performances prizes up the wazoo you would not believe the prizes that are dropping right now that we're getting for this show are going to be epic um amazing stuff so please sign up for our show you support a great cause in the process and we're going to have appearances from uh, lots of people you love so check us out and thanks for joining us for this trivia congratulations Corey. i will 